I'm running out of air. So where is the... There it is. There's the Seamoth. That doesn't sound good. Yep, we're being chased. Go, go, go. Turn off the light. Probably help. Nope, didn't help, didn't help. Get inside, get inside. Oh. Okay, you can shut that off. I think we've got enough magnetite for the moment. Let's get out of here. Oh, crap snake, don't be there. Okay, we're good. We're good, let's go. Actually, before we get all the way back, let me put this away. Bunch of this stuff, anyway. I was thinking we needed to wait for the, uh... Deep shrooms to grow, but why when we can just go get more? I know where they're at. Where is 19? Let's go this way. There was that hole down here by Keen's life pod. Hello, have I seen any of this? Yeah, I guess I have. Okay, cool. And now I have a sonar. So I can see what's going on where. Let's go down the hole. I do believe this direction is the hole for the deep shrooms. Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. There were more down this way. What else down here, anyway? Right down to the bottom. There's three of them for Pollyanneline, I believe. No, let's just take some more. I'll leave those. I don't want to completely deforest the area. I'll take that just for no reason. Okay. Kind of curious to know what else is down here. Okay. You're one of those electrical guys? Not scanned you yet. Tons of electricity. I don't like the way that you're coming closer to me, though. An amp eel. Okay. I'll accept that name. Is there... There is a way up. Interesting. And you get down here and you can get so turned around. Okay, that hole goes back to Officer Keen's area. This just keeps going deeper. We've got the depth. We can go take a look. Lights aren't doing much of anything down in this hole. What's that? That is a piece of the Aurora. Where did it come from? <laughs> it came from that. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I'd say it came from that wreckage. Okay, uh, what all's around this? Is that... Nuclear generator? Nuclear generator? And that should be the last piece of it. Nuclear reactor. 
What is that? Oh, that's the drill arm! Yes! Drill arm! I need you so badly! Oh, no, no. Scan it, scan it. One out of two. Okay. There's gotta be another one around here somewhere. There. Oh, and the scanner module makes life so much easier. Got it. Okay. So the major things we need. Prawn suit drill arm. The prawn suit itself. Where is that? Where are my vehicles? There. And I need a way to get it around. Which is the Cyclops. And I have still not found any of the pieces for it. Oh, I'm getting so much excitement. Finally gonna get a prawn suit. Get to use the drill arm. Alright, I see a PDA down there. Let's go find out what all's here. Join Altera's board of directors. Okay, we'll read that in a minute. That's... Is that a grapple arm? That is a grapple arm. That's another drill arm. Yeah. Drill arm. There's another piece of the grapple arm. Oh, that's going to make getting around so easy. Cyclops sonar. Absolutely. What's down here? Nothing. Just the outside of the thing. Okay. Anything in here? No. Any doors? Anything I can cut through? Not that I can see. That's another grapple arm. What's through here? Got to find water, and I've got to find it soon. But first... That exits out to there. Get me in here. Come on, come on, come on. I'm on a time limit with my water here. I should have gone back to the base first, but I'm glad I didn't now. What's in here? Plant pot, bench. More ways to go. Oh, is this where I came in? Yeah, this is where I came in. So this is just the other direction. Okay, uh, what's in here? Where does this go? It's back to where I came from. Did I go out that? I didn't think I came out that spot right there. But I guess I did. Okay, how about this? Where's this go? Nowhere. Okay. Let's get back to the base. Let's get some water. I don't have any water on me, do I? No. No, I don't. Alright. Back to the base. Which is that direction. Let's get the sonar going so I can see. Seek fluid intake immediately. That's what I'm doing. Salt, salt, yes! I need salt. Come here, salt. I do have space, right? Yeah. Alright, go. Go, go, go. Salt. Is there any more right here around the edge of this? <sighs> I 
All right, that should be enough salt for now. Let's go. This is quickly becoming a life or death situation here. Skip that. Go straight to here. One, two, three, four, five. Go. Right, in the base, in the base. Come on. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I hope I grabbed enough stuff for enough water. Not, not advanced there. Bleach. I don't know where I'm looking anymore. Got to save some salt for the polyaniline. It's fine, I'm dying of thirst here. One more, one more. Oh, so much better. I need food as well. I need that med kit. Alright, let's go find some food. And another salt, since I used all mine. You peeper. And you peeper. And some more salt. There it is. I'm aware! Come here, boomerang. I think I'm gonna need at least three fish. Go. One cooked boomerang. Two cooked peepers. Breakfast of champions, this. Vital signs. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, now that we're not dying, can I make that polyaniline? What is this? Oh, the reactor rod for the nuclear reactors. Uraninite. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that yet. Get it later. And then I need three salt. Or one. No, I need one gold. One gold is what it is. Oh, I don't have any gold left, do I? I had water in here the whole time. No, I just feel dumb. Put that away. Put that away. Actually growing those. And I'm betting this is almost out of power. Yeah. There you go. Give you a bit more to run with. I need gold. Do I have any gold left back here? And I need silver, apparently. No gold there. One gold. And then the magnetite. Right, because I wanted more. Uh, torpedoes. Grab the stuff for that. That makes four torpedoes and six torpedoes. So for now, let's go ahead and get the torpedoes off of our thing. Our HUD. Access the torpedo bay, put those in there. Fully stocked torpedoes. Excellent. Now, where did that wiring kit I had go? There it is. I know I had a wiring kit on me. I just dumped it, I guess. Polyaniline. High, con high conductance polymer. Do I know what that means? No, nope, I'm just a mechanic. All I do is use the thing, install it where it goes. There we go. Finally, boom. One completely tricked out sea moth. There is nothing, absolutely nothing we can't do with this now. Except go below 900 meters, but let's be honest, why would I want to go below 900 meters down right now? 
Unless there's alien stuff way down in the deeps, but I think the farthest we needed to go was the uh, the Gassi habitat right there, 500 meters down. We'll have to check that out. And then I need this research base to be completely up and running. So much to do, especially now that I've got the prawn suit, there's so much I can do. One of the things I can do, I can do right now. I need more lockers. Nuclear reactor would be great. I need more lockers, please. Go, can I afford a third one? Nope, I can't. Okay. Uh, no, put it away. There we go. Nothing is currently organized. I'm just throwing things in things, getting this Seamoth's storage back to empty so it can be used again. The alien stuff stays with us. I might make four extra torpedoes and put them there. That way I do have some reloading capabilities while we're out. One, two, and one, two. I have the stuff to make four more. Oh, I've got plenty of stuff to make four more. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, oh, uh, that button. Torpedoes. And torpedoes. Grappling arm and drill arm. Oh, I need more diamond for the drill arm. Okay, that's fine. We'll find stuff. We have that capability. Four torpedoes, two ion cubes, a bunch of purple tablets, and a propulsion cannon just in case. I love it, I love it, I love it. Throw everything out of our inventory and then figure out what we need later. Recharge. I know we need everything recharged. Yep, 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 that one. That one needs a full charge. Charge up all the batteries. All right, top up our food, our water. There we go. When I, I went ahead and made a Pathfinder tool so we can explore caves and just Absolutely, in case. Air bladder, if something desperately goes wrong in the deeps. I'm not getting stranded 900 meters down with no way up and running out of oxygen. We have a fully functioning prawn suit. We have an empty storage bay. We have alien stuff. Extra torpedoes. And the uh, propulsion cannon if we need it. We have in here, we have extra batteries, extra water, extra health, extra food. I am not getting stuck without anything this time. And another empty storage container. Let's go. While we're out and exploring, I want to know everything. It would be nightfall. Okay. Life pod 13, life pod 2, life pod 12. We're going to check out all three of you but first. I want that. Proposed Agassi habitat, 500 meters down. Okay, that steep drop off. Let's look at it from here. Whoa. I didn't realize there was like a divide here between two different spots. What was that? Just floating out here. Not seeing any of this. That's cool. Okay, uh, this is why we have a scanner module now. What are you? A membrane tree? It's like a brain of some kind. What else is down here? Okay, lots of thermal activity. What is this? That's 
anchor pods. Okay, I can see why you would call them anchor pods. Looks like we've got gel sacks. That is one of those things. Great. Warper, I think they were called, right? Is that Ruby? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No! No! This is why we bring rep weapons. Yes, that is Ruby. Okay, this is a great source of Ruby. That's good to know. Go away! Did that hurt the uh, sea moth any? Can't tell that it did. Just me. Let's, uh. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a first aid kit and then we'll move on. How deep does this go? Actually, this might lead around to an opening where that is. Base? Is it in these caves? Are these caves down here? Kinda looks like it. You seen these guys? No, we've not, and this guy is infected. Come on, let me scan you. Creatures might be easier to scan from outside. Jelly Ray. You're most definitely infected. was that sound? Not heard that s screech before. Oh yeah, this is a cave system. 430 meters. Yeah, that 500 meter deep sea base has got to be under here. This is amazing. <laughs> I love the sonar. What is that? That would be a sea base. Whoa! Another one? How many of those things are down here? What's that? Uh, where is... Um, a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Oh, this could end very badly. Whether it originated on the Aurora. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Um. You go away. That thing can sit out an EMP of some kind. That's not cool. No, no, not open storage. Get in. Get in. I gotta get rid of this warper. Uh, perimeter defense system. How effective are you? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna refill our health this time. I don't wanna run out of health packs down here. Where was that base? That titanium mass the uh, thing was just telling us about. Was that it? Right, follow the marker. That would be smart. Okay, and one of these... Octopus squid things? Okay, um... They don't like me. They don't like me. They really don't like me. That's the wrong button. I wanted that. Crab squid. Okay, I need to find a safe spot to hide for a minute. I need to read about these crab squid. They're actively aggressive. Eh, well, this looks like a good hole. We'll hide in this hole. Anything chasing us? Not that I can see. Okay, crab squid, crab squid. Um, that's gonna be under fauna. Probably carnivores. Crab squid. This large predator can be found in deep waters where it lurks amongst the blood kelp and membrane trees. Thought one of them was coming towards us. That's obviously its screech. 
10 limbs, uh, swinging, walking, hunting, possibly even tool use. Raise another illuminated herbivore are its usual prey. Okay, so it's the lights. It's attacking the lights. It will approach and attack any light source in the vicinity. Its EMP blast was likely developed as a response to predation by creatures with electrical hunting mechanisms. <laughs> its EMP is a direct response to the ampule's electricity. That's pretty cool. Um, they appear to have large brains, a resemblance of the intelligent squids of Earth. The organ inside the creature's head is, in fact, its stomach. So it's not that smart. Uh, neutralizes electrical equipment. Lights attract its unwanted attention. Okay. So as long as we avoid lights, we should be fine. Scans show extensive cave networks below the surface. Accompanied by unusual energy signatures. I bet those unusual energy signatures are the crab squid. Okay. So that right there is the base. Um, it is currently west southwest of us. I'm just gonna leave the uh, sea moth here. Uh, let's turn that light off. Let's head for this base. Let's see what happened down here. Although I'm betting the crab squid had something to do with it. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. What else is where? Looks like there was a main entrance over here. This is going to be extremely difficult without lights, so maybe once we're inside, I can turn this on and it won't be a big deal. Another bag. Don't know why I'm taking it, but I am. Uh, swim charge fins. Cool. So they are absolutely attracted to that light. Great. Um, what's that? Oh, and yeah. Yeah, you stay out there. You just stay out there. Um, is there anything else in here? Just another carry all. Okay, there's got to be more floors to this place. I do not want him chasing me out of here. Where is he? Only 138 seconds worth of air left. There's got to be another way into this base. Right there. Okay. Um, let's go back to the sea moth. Get some more air. Try not to attract that guy's attention while we're up here. Cool. Okay. Let's go see what else is in this base. So much more difficult without the uh, sea moth being right here by it. That is an alien containment unit. Awesome. PDA here. Integrating new PDA data. Looks like there's something over here. Cyclops shield generator. Excellent. Now, if only we had a Cyclops. Uh, this is too difficult to do without the light. Well, let's get down here. What are you? What is that? A creature egg. Okay. Science equipment. Oh, my inventory's full. Um, how full? That looks like the purple tablets, but it's orange. Orange tablet, aptly named. Okay, how much science equipment is left down here? I've got one, two, three... Three pieces we can pick up. Looks like. Okay, I want it all. So let's get out of here. Put some stuff in our storage. 
Come on, through the hole. Without attracting the uh, crab squids. Let's get back to Bob, put stuff in storage, get some air. Then we'll get the last of that equipment out of there. I need every piece of science equipment I can get my hands on. That goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there. We can put a few of the small things up here. One, two, three. Uh, I'm going to assume that I need to drink some water. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that second health kit. Alright. Get a drink, refill the air. Let's go get the rest of that science equipment. Come on, come on, come on, come on. A new, a new message? I'm not planning on going back to the base anytime soon. Um, we may have to swing by on our way to visit other stuff. Drop some of this stuff off. Is that the sound of a crab squid? Oh, it's so dark in here without the light. Alright, get out. Go, 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 go. Okay. One, two, and three. Yeah, I need to get back and empty our storage anyway. Okay, so. Um, first things first. We are down here. I don't see us showing a wreck or anything. Oh, the sound of those crab squids terrifies me now. I keep thinking they're going to be coming for me. What did we just find out? Orange tablet. This device hums slightly and displays an orange lit symbol resembling an N. It may offer a way to interact with compatible technologies. Cool. That's the sound of a warper. Um, where is it? Are you staying out there? I think it's staying out there. Okay, um, I wanted the Degasi survivor logs. What happened? Uh, Degasi 7, Degasi 8, Degasi 9, Port Torgal's the end, so I think we start here. Please, stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Okay, they discovered they were sick. Coughing. Feeling itchy. Blisters. I am feeling itchy. My voice is starting to get itchy, but I haven't been coughing. So they knew they were sick. I know I'm sick. What did they come down here for? Uh, ba -do -do -do. Kid found something on the scanner that something down there that shouldn't be. They didn't find one of the uh, alien uh where was that? Where was that? Is that on our scan data? Force field. Alien arch. Artifacts. Doomsday device. Somewhere in here. Maybe it's under codes and clues. Alien facilities. There is a disease research facility located at 800 meters down. In a cave system with extensive fossil records. 
We're in a cave system, but I haven't seen any fossils, but I've also not been scanning the bottom. Um, thermal power is at 1,200. Then there's four sites, Sanctuary A, B, an off-site laboratory, and a primary containment facility that it doesn't know where are. So four, five, six total facilities. If they only came 500 meters down, I wonder if they found this one or one of these four. But I'm betting there's something close by if they found something on the scanner and came down here. Ah, uh, okay, what happened after they found out they were sick? Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No. Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Okay. Maida brought a uh, leviathan. A live leviathan. I have had it with you risking our oh, lives. Oh, this is just a continuation. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. But tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. It was a reaper? Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Oh, you idiot. She brought a live reaper down here? And then it attacked the base. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, neither appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Oh, he saw a light and swam down. Oh, man. Where was... Bart's. Yeah, his number three. This happened after all of that. Right, his return from the deep. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. 
they do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Oh, man. So he had just survived the Reaper attack on the base. And he made it back up to the island. Oh. Okay. Um, let's get some food, get some water. No, no, I want to actually eat that, please. Welcome is there aboard, Captain. any chance that Marguerite survived? Um, is there another log down here somewhere? Oh. Can't have the lights on with those craft squids around. But on the bright side, this data logs should actually glow blue anyway. So maybe... Maybe we can see one down here somewhere. If there's one down here somewhere. Not seeing anything directly around the base. There's also not a Reaper currently down here. Thankfully. At least not that I've run into. Not yet. Yeah, we were just down here. Okay. I don't see any indication of what happened to Meta afterwards. Where does this cave system go? Does it keep on? It keeps going in that direction. Let's find out what's down here. That was a warper. I bet the warpers is what he meant with they don't want us down here. As the warpers seem to attack everything in sight. And they patrol around the alien... Uh, facilities. So maybe there is one close by. What is this? There's another infected fish. There seems to be a lot of infected fish down here. All right, I want to know what this is. I am betting it's not going to be very healthy for me to swim swim in there. He's not after me. He's after the infected fish. That was after me. All right, you. Go away. <laughs> That's so much fun. <gasps> okay. I'm betting it's not going to be very healthy for me to go in here. But I want to know, is it like an acid? Oh, this is stupid. This is very stupid. This is not how you do science. No? I'm okay. Seem to be okay. Okay, so it's just green water. I'm cool with that. Uh, let's continue deeper. I don't have enough supplies to stay down here forever. Where does this go? Down further. What are those? This is why we've got the scanner module. Amoeboids. Okay. I don't see any crab squid right here, so we're going to go ahead and turn the lights back on. There's a lot more of that green stuff. Some of this looks like it might be bones. Have we found the area of the uh, fossil... Fossil area? Ghost ray. Cool.
best I can tell, it doesn't do anything to the sea moth either. No, it is acidic. 98, we're losing health. Okay, stay out of that then. Um, great. Is that a diamond? No, that's quartz. Okay. Thought it was just a diamond sitting chilling on the wall. That's quartz too. It's an awful lot like a diamond. That is definitely a bone. So I think we're finding the uh, areas with the fossil records here. We're 700 meters down. I don't know which way we need to go. That's where we came from. Southeast. I need to remember that or we'll never find our way out of here. I don't see anything down that way. That's a big... Something. Is that a skull? It is a skull that's lit by alien stuff. Okay. An ancient fossilized skeleton. Skeleton of a million-year-old armored carnivore projections suggest this life form would have been larger than any living creature encountered on the planet. The oceans at the time would have been very different to support life forms of this size. More open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. That's terrifying. Um... Forgive me, but I think it's a good thing that you're dead. Look at the teeth on that thing. Is that three eye sockets? So is it going to have like six eyes? Or is that noses and those are eyes? What is that? Crab claw kelp. What about these? Research probes. Prominence of facing of these alien devices suggests they are some kind of probe or sensor. Their subject would seem to be the vast skeleton in the center of the cavern. The attached cable network may lead to a remote power station or data hub. Okay. That sounds great. Um, let's follow these then. This goes up. Is there anything else in here? There's a way up right there. I think that's blood kelp. Interesting. Okay, where did these go? Right there. This is most definitely one of the alien facilities. There's no doubt about that. What's that? Not seen that before. Nickel! Oh, that's gonna be highly valuable. Give me that. It takes an orange tablet. I am betting I put it away. I am betting this is where the Degasi crew found this orange tablet. All right. Open sesame. Some more nickel. A lot more nickel. More bones. What is this? Mixed Leviathan fossils. I'm 
not willing to stay and read this while I'm down here losing oxygen. Integrating new PDA data. Fauna reproductive data. More ion cubes. Don't mind if I do. Was this some type of screen or terminal? I don't know, whatever it is, it's not doing anything now. That's another egg. Research equipment. That's another egg just like the one that the De was in the Degasi's base. Now I'm confused. The aliens were obviously researching that specific creature. Nothing down there. Some ruby on the ceiling. You know what? I'm here and I'm greedy. I'm going to take it. I don't see anything else in here. It's really, really worth investigating too much. Alright, let's get out here and find out what's going on with all this stuff. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah. Uh, creature egg. Okay, alien flora research. Local plants being held in stasis. The aliens evidently sought an extensive knowledge of the planet's ecosystem, which would have been necessary to support any live specimen research. Fair enough. The equipment. A large laboratory table and accompanying scanners incorporate technologies far beyond our current level of understanding. The hypotheses... Is equipment maintenance, staff maintenance, specimen analysis, or specimen gene manipulation. Okay. Um, terminal data. The reproductive data. Extensive alien research data on local fauna with a special focus on their reproductive methods. Core conclusions have been synthesized. The aliens discovered the life forms on the planet have just one sex. They observed lo local organisms engaging in asexual reproduction. All healthy individuals tested were capable of egg laying. Eggs usually required a genetic material from another of the species. In rare cases, only one parent was required, with evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself. Uh, research appears to have been focused around hatching conditions and genetic variations between parent and child. So they were definitely studying these eggs. Geological data, nickel ore, yep. Essential for advanced fabrication. Was there anything else? Yeah, there's the Leviathan fossils. These fossils likely came from the ancient ancestors of the Leviathans which inhabit the planet today. The relative size and delicacy of the bones suggest they formed part of the ear canal or some other complex internal structure. Okay, so they were studying dead specimens. They were studying eggs. They were studying the fauna. I don't even know what all was going on here. Um, let's take two of those and one of those. You know what? Give me three of those and two of those. Not... You know what? Yeah, open the storage. Put that in there. Uh, we can also put all of this in there. Get it off of us. Okay, I don't want to eat that one just yet. So, what were the... What were those facilities? Uh, that was under Codes and Clues. A disease research facility, depth of 800 meters. We're at 680, so it's not the res research facility. Definitely not at 1200 meters. Uh, this is definitely a science lab, so I'm gonna guess this is the offsite laboratory. And I'm also gonna bet this is what they found on the scanner. Okay. That's really cool. And. Gives me a place to start with my own research once we get the base up and running. 
We came from in front of this thing, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's get out of these cave systems. Get back to the base. Um, put some stuff away. I think we came from this way. I hope we came from this way. We're going to say we went this way. Let's put some stuff away, and then we want to go... I want to go and find the... Uh, other survivors. Well, no longer survivors, but... I want to look at these other life pods. I also want to see what messages we've got, because we've got two of them now. And I'm very interested in what they may be. 